Hey everyone, welcome. Today I'm gonna be doing my facials at home because over here we save money and if you can do it by yourself, so be it. Hi, I'm May and welcome to May Skincare. Yeah, we do skincare, beauty and everything girly girl. So I'm gonna show you to the side all the things that I laid out and the other serums I'll be using the course of the video. So the first thing we're gonna use is this um, seam machine right here. I'm gonna put it over here and plug it so that way it steams my face. You will be seeing the vapor hitting my face. So now let us move to the next thing. What I'm going to need, I'm going to need a washcloth and then I'm going to need a uh, scrub, a loofah like this. This one is very soft. This is not your typical strong loofah need a soft one just to scrub the face so I am going to wet my face and then we will continue now I'm gonna use this with only water nothing to be inside of it I'm gonna start my machine here in the corner and make sure um okay, there we go we should start having vapor anytime soon. I'm excited. So, I'm gonna wash this. So, I have wet the little sponge. I'm gonna just gently scrub my face with it. Not so much, just gently. Oh, my face already turning red. <laughs> just gonna gently scrub my face like so the areas around the hairline i can hear the machine has started steaming down here i have my mirror i will use this for the extraction okay so while that has steamed a little i'm gonna take my tea tree scrub right here I showed you guys this scrub this is for um blackheads whiteheads and it also cleanses the pores i'm gonna take i need to make sure that my face is wet i'm gonna take a very, very small quantity like so So I'm going to take some of the scrub again and put it on the gloves, the loofah, and gently scrub my face with it. So this replaces those exfoliating glove um, pads that they use at the spa because I don't have those. like a tomato see how red and inflamed my face is so yep so now I'm just gonna let my face steam for 10 minutes obviously I'm not gonna stand here for 10 minutes right so the video will be fast forwarded but just know that this part has to be for 10 minutes Nationwide, he's on your side. I really wanted to hit this side of my face because that is the problem area. That's the area where I have the most trouble with. I have, oh, I also have like new whitehead, blackheads. So I'm really looking forward to extracting those. I'm gonna take a hot towel and remove the tea tree facial scrub that I put on my face. There. This is taking longer than I'm actually showing you. <laughs> this is actually like a two hour process that I have. It's actually like a two hour process. <laughs> and I have heavily compressed. But I've told you everything that I do. I just didn't wait in like real time. So now we're going to start with the extraction. I have my sanitized tools right here. I went off 
fine to do the extraction as you can see my face looks like I have been stung by wasps so this is normal the swelling will disappear in a few days okay so while this is happening you need to make sure that you're not using any lightening products for the next two to three days to let your face heal completely so i'm just gonna clean out the sides of my nose all the white heads i already did that but i just want to make sure i'm getting everything so i'm gonna wet i'm gonna wet my face again the wet rag to make sure that your face is wet you're not working on a dry surface that is a disaster Okay, I have picked out most of the black and the white heads on this side. So now I'm just cleaning. I know someone will come on here talking about don't apply too much pressure. If I don't apply pressure, how am I going to get them out? Clean my face. The hot water. Clean that. I need to clear out those pores and stuff. I'm going to take a cotton disc like this. Apply some of the ordinary glycolic acid toner on there. The burn, this is going to sting. Ooh. <laughs> oh God, I'm afraid. Ooh. Ooh. Ah! <gasps> my bentonite clay the bentonite clay I'm using put a little quantity in here like that and I'm gonna put some glycolic acid toner in there you can use water There's so much pain you can use whatever you want you can use rose water um, So I'm gonna have this on for like five more minutes and then wash it off. Okay, it is time to wash off our face. Now we're going to wash off our face with cold water. Okay. Just turn off the seam. See the inflammation? The post inflammation, that is normal. I'll give it a few days. Now we're going to clean our face again with the glycolic acid toner for the last time. I hate this. Okay. 
so it doesn't sting as it did the first time oh no never mind it, it does so always after you do uh, a facials your face is not gonna look smooth your face is gonna look inflamed there'll be hyper everything will be pronounced on your face the hyperpigmentation the acne everything your face will look so bad as you see on my, what's happening on my face right now this is normal um i'll show you guys when the inflammation um reduces in the next few days but this is normal so we're just waiting for the toner to dry down and then we can go ahead and apply our serums but first let's hydrate because these facials and the vapor dehydrates you and also i added some face mask or some eye mask i don't know what those are for the eye bags <laughs> so yeah i have puffy eyes so that helps a lot for my eye bags next thing i'm going to use is my current double serum remember no lightening product it is done this will be my last use yeah it is it is done like i'm just pumping air right now okay so i got everything out of there It's really tacky. Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna add some hyaluronic acid all over my face. Normally I put it on my eye area only, but because we just did a facial, we need some moisture. I'm gonna put the hyaluronic acid all over my face. Especially around my eye area. Okay, so my face has already absorbed. See how tacky my face is. It's perfect. And one last thing. I'm going to use the Currents Double Eye Serum my eye area just a little bit on the fingertip that pea size I'm gonna wash my hands. Wash my hands, apply um apply some hand cream and then call it the night. Okay? I'm going to apply some lip balm here. I have scraped off all my lip balm. Okay. We're going to buy a new one. <laughs> okay, so this is the finished product of my facials today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to give me a thumbs up if you have any questions. Leave it in the comment section below. I'm going to use my Bath & Body Works hand cream as usual. Guys, I'm out of almost everything. It is rough. It is rough out right here. So I'm gonna hydrate my hands from all of that work. Alright, you guys, thank you. Remember to leave your comments in the comment section. Leave your questions in the comments. I'm so tired. 
but my face looks nice it feels squeaky clean um i've been able to extract a ton of black heads tons of white heads so i feel refreshed and rejuvenated i'm doing this video on a monday so i am ready to take on the entire week <laughs> all right let me know if you enjoyed this video if you have any questions leave it in the comment section below and remember to like share this video and subscribe to my channel bye